Hello, today we will be talking about slash reviewing, whatever you would like to call it, Superman and Lois Season 3, Episode 4, titled Too Close to Home. And I gotta say, this episode is absolutely fantastic. Um, I will give you my uh, spoiler-free thoughts on it first, and then we will get into spoilers like I do with every video. But I gotta say, if like you're not watching this show, I highly recommend giving it a watch, because like with each episode, it just keeps getting better and better. They're on a break right now, so this is like the perfect time to catch up, because they are bad next week. But anyway, without further ado, shall we begin? So Superman and Lois Season 3, Episode... Four titled Too Close to Home. Now, um, as it's titled Too Close to Home, uh, you can definitely see why when the episode starts to unfold, but like I always say, I will give you my spoiler-free thoughts on it, and then we will get into spoilers, but, like, right out of the gate, I gotta say, like, this, like, this... This show is just awesome. Like, I thought season two right here was uh, good, but I didn't think it was on the same level as season one. But I gotta say, this season is just absolutely fantastic. I am loving absolutely everything that they're doing with this season. I love the drama with Lois. I love uh, Bruno Mannheim as the villain. I'm glad that, like, just everything that they're doing, I absolutely love. And the point that even, like, um, General Lane wanted Jonathan to get his hair cut and him not wanting to do it and running away. I thought that was great because, like, Jonathan, he's at that age where getting your hair cut is a very big deal. So I am very glad that they threw that into there. And it's just, like, it is a great episode. And that's not a spoiler at all. That's just a very, very little segment of this. But, um, um, Bruno Mannheim is absolutely fantastic in this. Like, he is, uh, I know that we're getting Lex Luthor later on down the line, but the way that he's portraying him is just absolutely great and like he's just so manipulative and the way where he got superman's blood from which is in the spoiler part we won't um get into that yet but i was shocked when he was like oh wow and then everything that's going on with candace's uh candace's dad is just fantastic as well like, like i was saying the writing this season is uh just great now i will say this this season is a bit more um, heavy on drama than it is with action, but I'm not complaining about that because I think it's actually benefiting it personally. Like, I really enjoy that they're doing a bit more with... Um, the, uh, like, the drama instead of the action. I'm like, that's fine, but it still just shows Superman doing Superman things, and that's absolutely what they're doing, but, um, if I gotta say, this episode is definitely an 8.5 for me out of 10. Like, it is just great. There's, like, a few nitpicks you can make with all that, but you can do that with any TV show, any movie. There's always something you can nitpick about it, but at the end of the day, this was an awesome episode. 8.5 out of 10. Um, if you're not watching the show right now, I do highly highly recommend going and give it a watch because that's just how good i feel like this season is even if you were kind of thrown off by this season go and watch the new season because well season three as it's airing right now because it is really really good the flash has had an okay final season it definitely has elements that i enjoy and gotham knights is a surprise hit like i am enjoying that to no end like i can't wait for uh, all the shows to come back because i will still be doing videos on every single episode that airs up until uh they don't air anymore but anyway that was just my spoiler free thoughts on it we will get into spoilers in five four all righty let's get into spoilers shall shall we so the main thing that i wanted to talk about even though there are a few things but where they got the blood from where they got superman's blood they got it from the dod and that was a big surprise because i'm like wow, like, Mannheim got the blood from the DoD, that just tells you, like, how, like, just corrupt the DoD was, and they always have, like, some excuse, oh, blah, 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 but at the end of the day, no, like, they got the blood from them, and it was just all downhill from there for them, and I don't blame Superman for just lasering the blood after he found out that they kept some, because even General Lane didn't know about that, so, like, you can't blame him at all, and like I was saying earlier, even when General Lane wanted John Jonathan to cut his hair, and then he stormed out after telling him off. And Clark and Lois was like, you gotta go apologize to him. Like, that, like, you, you can't be talking to your grandfather like that. And I really like that drama, because I'm kind of the same, like, I'm the same way when it comes to that kind of stuff. I was always raised to, like, respect your grandparents and all that. So, like, I really liked where they were going with that. And I gotta say, like, um, that standoff between Candace's dad and Clark was 
phenomenal. I was on the edge of my seat watching it. Like, there's not enough good things I can say about this episode that would be fit into, like, a seven-minute, like, just video of talking about, like, what I thought about the episode. But I just got, like, it just keeps getting better and better and better. Like, I can't say enough good things about it. Like, the standoff was so good. And the way that he just grabbed him and went like that. And then afterward, just kind of like, all right, everybody enjoy and the way that this was uh bouncing off of what happened with uh lana and um uh, her daughter after slapping her and then being like kyle being like okay we we all need to talk like all that was going on while that was going on and they're getting better too like there's that connection there because lana had an abusive mother so we know that this is definitely a different um lana laying well we knew anyway but i'm just saying relating it to like i don't know uh smallville this is definitely a different lana laying than what we had beforehand and i just like i don't know maybe it's because we've never really seen this style of like drama before within a superman show i just really really enjoy it and then the standoff with um john henry irons and um bruno Mannheim was awesome too and then he was pretty like the way that he grabbed him and just went flying to the end like i thought that was just great like, like i was saying this show is just like so so good each episode just keeps getting better and better and better and i honestly just feel like there's nowhere um, nowhere but up to go with this show as of right now because i don't know how they're doing it but this it's very little action this season but the way that they're writing the drama i just absolutely love and like i was saying in my uh, spoiler free part of this it is definitely a solid uh 8.5 out of 10 for this episode arguably the best episode of the season so far but anyway that was just my review of superman and lois season 3 episode 4 in cold blood so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a subscribe so I know you can make more of these. If you have any video requests, please leave them down in the comments below. I'll do my best to reply. As of now, I have a few video requests and those are being made. But if you do have any others, just let me know as long as within my capability of making it. I will be making it. And let me know what you thought of this episode down in the comments below. Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you think it was just okay? Honestly, I am absolutely loving this season. But I am curious to see what other people are thinking of this as well. And let me know if you're keeping up with the other shows as well. Like Fly and Gotham Knights as of right now. Like, let me know what you think of them right now as well. But anyway, thanks for watching as always, and I will see all of you in the next video. Bye! Yeah.